All right, what's going on, guys? New Force bringing a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys yet another Modern Warfare Remastered video. And in today's Modern Warfare Remastered video, we are going to be doing the Lynx CQ300 versus the XMLAR, which is better. I've been getting comments asking me to do this, and uh, that's what I'm definitely going to do for you guys. Um, so I have some other videos lined up as well for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because I have to schedule upload them. This is the, the this is a video that I'm not schedule uploading, so if you guys have any suggestions for videos on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, um, just let me know down in the comment section of those videos and I'll do them as soon as I get back. I'm going on a little vacation, but I wanted to make sure that I could upload for you guys. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to play one game with the Link CQ300. I'm going to play one game with XMLAR to see which one is the best weapon. And with that being said, let's, let's hop right into the video. All right, so for our first game here, we have some TDM on Crash using the Lynx CQ300. I've been using this weapon a ton. This weapon is extremely fun to use. This weapon, this weapon is just amazing. But I don't know if it's better than the XMLAR. We're going to have to see. Got him right there. I need to get out of there. I need to get out of there. I might get sniped. Okay. So we got ourselves a UAV. And a fourth kill right there. We're the only ones with, <laughs> We're the only person with a kill so far. So that's fun. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I had no chance in that gunfight because, you know, head glitches and stuff like that. Teammate starting off with a good 0 and 3. Again, I am 5 and 2. I have 5 of our 7 kills. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get up top here. Is this guy up here? Where are these people at? Man, there you are. Let me get this UAV, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go downstairs. Ooh, got the panic knife. Got the panic knife. I want to make sure I use no other weapons other than the uh, Link CQ300 and maybe the Deagle because I'm gonna have the Deagle on both classes, and it's just a secondary anyway. It doesn't really affect the weapon. Ah, M16. Of course, you're still gonna die to the M16 because you know you die to the M16 if you use any weapon. So I mean. You can't really compare it to a weapon that's just as broken as the M16. The M16 is just going to beat it in every single category. So, I mean, you can't even complain when you die to the M16 anymore because, like, it's been happening for almost a year now. <laughs> but we're 10 and 4. We're not. We're definitely doing pretty well with this weapon. I'm very excited to see how I can do with the XMLAR because the last time I did a video about the. the. like, against the L XMLAR it wasn't very good I did the BOS 14 versus the XMLAR and uh, I did pretty terrible in that video if I'm being perfectly honest I'm very ashamed honestly like with the kind of stuff that I put out now compared to what I put out like just three months ago is just it's a huge change and I think that I've definitely gotten better not as just a player but as a youtuber Where are these people at Oh, there's one right here. Got him. We got ourselves a UAV. Oh! That was a really nice grenade. I didn't even see that guy back there, honestly. Okay, at least at least teammate killed him. Teammate hit me up with that Avenger medal. Okay. Explosions everywhere. I also kind of want to talk about like remastering games. I think that this game has been a huge success, honestly. Um, another success has been um, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, which I'm thinking about buying and playing on my second channel. If you guys want to see like other games other than Call of Duty, go subscribe to my second channel. It's on the uh, recommended channels tab on my on my actual like channel. And I, I'm going to be playing different games over there eventually. I don't really have the time to do that right now, but I will in the future. I will definitely be doing that because other games are so fun. Like, I don't I don't only play Call of Duty. Other games are really fun, and I kind of want to do, like, a Let's Play channel. Because Let's Plays are really awesome, in my opinion. Let's Plays are really fun because you get to experience new games that you haven't really played before. 
Where'd this guy go? I see you. Ah, never mind. I'm just gonna ignore that. But I'm not going to be doing the World War II campaign on that channel. I'm gonna be doing it on this one. Because it's a Call of Duty related video and this is really like a Call of Duty channel. Run! And I just want to have that other channel to do other games on. Because, as I said, other being able to do other games would be awesome. This guy's camping with a sniper and UAV jammer and iron lungs. That's really fun. But we're 17 and 7. We're not doing bad. 17 and 8. <laughs> the spawns flipped on my teammates. That's Those are terrible spawns. Look at that. Just completely screwed my teammates over. Just made them completely have to move. Okay. I really like how this weapon reloads too. Like this weapon's really awesome, honestly. The the reload the reload is very nostalgic. Well, not nostalgic because Call of Duty Ghost was out like three years ago, but like it, it's very it's very reminiscent of the Honey Badger, just without the silencer. And I think that's freaking amazing. Okay. Got him. Ah, oh, I could have won that gunfight too. We're 19 and 9. Gonna have to make a little bit of a comeback here. What? What is with this game? It's being really slow. Okay. I'm gonna push up here. There are six people on the other team, but it doesn't feel like there are. If I'm being perfectly honest. Got that guy. Teammate saved my life right there. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna head glitch this car. That guy is still in the back of his spawn with the, uh, I think he's using the S-Tac Aggressor with UAV Jammer and Iron Lungs. Okay, this guy went into the building. Got ourselves a UAV. There's a guy up top here. What is my aim? What is my aim? <laughs> that is terrible. Where's this guy? There we go. 23 and 10. Oh my god, I barely hit that guy. We got ourselves another UAV. It's actually picking up towards the end here. Okay, I'm gonna go up top here. Okay, he's downstairs. This guy's down. Ah, no, he was right there. I could have got the final kill. But we went 26 and 10 with the Lynx CQ300. This weapon is a total beast. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next game where I use the XMLAR. All right, so for our second game here, we have some TDM on Bog using the XMLAR. Now, this weapon is one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Ooh. So I'm going to be a little bit biased. I guess not really because I'm really liking the Lynx right now. I'm really liking the Lynx. But this weapon is also one of my most used weapons. It's just really fun. Like the low recoil that it has just allows you to spray people across the map as you just saw right there. It's just an amazing weapon all around. Where's this guy at? Oh! Okay, need to get that kill. And I need to get out of here. Get out. Oh, he hit markered me. I'm lucky. Wait, why do I have... Why do I have bandolier on? Okay, we're switching to the bandolier class. What the heck? Sorry about that. I thought I had bandolier on. For some reason, I have two classes with this gun. I normally never do that. I normally never have two classes with the same weapon. But I mean, I guess this will work. I sadly might have to pick up another weapon. Ow. What? Where is this guy? Okay, he just appeared out of nowhere on top of the hill. Let me throw that and then run across the screen. That guy killed himself with his own airstrike. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's some more. Ow. Run. Ah. But we're 7 and 3. Both of my teammates are 12 and 3. Both two, two, two of my teammates are going completely off right now. I mean, I'm not doing bad, but I'm no 12 and 3. 
We got ourselves a UAV. Another kill right there. We were one off of that air. We're now one off the airstrike. We could have got it with that that second guy that was there, but teammate decided to jack the kill. I'm just kidding. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> and I can't even I can't even see him. I really can't. He's laying down. What is the infatuation with laying down? These people in laying down. I I don't get it. Why is that fun? But I got the bog hill head glitch. Bog hill head glitch. Bog hill head glitch. I can't see this person. Where is he? Over here running in circles like an idiot. Okay, I'm a dead. I'm a die. I'm a die to a sniper. Because that guy's camping in the bus. And I'm I'm dead again. To the same person. 12 and 6. Make that 13 and 6. Make it 14 and 6. But yeah, I can start comparing the two weapons now. Um I really like both of these weapons like the Lynx has had a really 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 good first impression on me that this the Lynx is an amazing weapon and I've liked the XMLAR for a very long time the XMLAR is one of my favorite weapons in the game these weapons are very very close when it comes to how good they are at least in my opinion they're both extremely good whenever people aren't just laying down claymores for you to trip but I'm dead again. <laughs> We're 16 to 9. We're going to have to turn this around a little bit. But both of them are very, very good weapons. Both of them are extremely good. But right now, it might be the fact that the, that the Lynx just came out and I was getting bored of the XMLAR. Or I just wanted new weapons to come out or something like that. But right now, I'm actually leaning towards the Lynx CQ. Like, the Lynx is an extremely good weapon, as I said already. The Lynx is one of the best DLC weapons they've added to this game. So is the XMLAR, but right now I'm leaning a little bit towards the Lynx CQ300. As I said, they're very close. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, which is better, the Lynx or the XMLAR. To me, the Lynx is just a little bit better, but the XMLAR is very, very close behind it. As, as I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. So this has been The Enforcer. Leave a like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.